Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Civil Air Patrol turned 75 years old. Frontier airline pilots are looking for payback. Virtual reality goes to space. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's August 11th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. More than 700 Civil Air Patrol members will convene at the Gaylord Opryhand Resort and Convention Center this week for the organization's 2016 National Conference. The conference will devote several days to training, networking, and focusing on the U.S. Air Force Auxiliary's historic past as well as its promising future. Special guests for the National Conference will include two former NASA astronauts, retired U.S. Navy Captain Robert L. Gibson and Dr. Ray Seddon. CAP National Commander Major General Joe Vasquez said, Civil Air Patrol is honored to have two NASA astronauts in attendance for this year's National Conference. Their presence with us during our 75th anniversary year draws added attention to CAP and helps solidify our status as one of the nation's premier public service organizations. The CAP officially turns 75 on December 1st of 2016 and is celebrating its anniversary throughout the year. The theme for the 75th anniversary celebration is Civil Air Patrol, Always Vigilant for America 1941 through 2016. Airline labor strife seems to be in the offing at Frontier Airlines as the Airline Pilots Association has filed a grievance that will lead to arbitration. Alpa is demanding that the company negotiate new pay rates under an agreement reached in 2011 where Frontier pilots sacrificed $55 million in pay and benefits to save their airline. Under the July 2011 letter of agreement, the pilots agreed to a reduction in 401k matching contributions, sick pay, and vacation accruals, deferral of scheduled pay increases, and a two-year extension to the collective bargaining agreement. In exchange, Alpa claims Frontier Management agreed to return a substantial portion of future profits to the employees who sacrificed during the restructuring. Then CEO Brian Bedford said that the pilot sacrifice was a watershed event and that the linchpin that saved the airline. Alpa says the new airline is now and has been making a decent profit and the pilots deserve to benefit from the sacrifices made in the earlier agreement. According to Alpa, the agreement allowed for pay raises when profits reached a certain level and Alpa says that the level has been reached. After the break, you don't have to be a space traveler to get the view. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Errol TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at errol-news.net. If your billfold won't quite support a trip to space with Blue Origin or Virgin Galactic, there may be another way to get the view of the space traveler. Space VR, a platform for creating cinematic live virtual space tourism, announced that it has signed a launch agreement with NanoRocks to send Overview 1, the world's first virtual reality camera satellite, into space. Overview 1 will be delivered to the International Space Station aboard SpaceX CRS-12 mission. The satellite will then be deployed in a low Earth orbit from the NanoRocks CubeSat deployer. Its debut satellite, Overview 1, will use 4K sensors to capture extremely high resolution, fully immersive, 360 degree video of every breathtaking moment that occurs on our home planet. The content will be viewable on any virtual reality device. Ryan Holmes, the founder and CEO of SpaceVR, said in part, 
This is the most important milestone to date for the Space VR and we're honored to share it with the group of pioneers that have been pushing what's achievable since before we were born. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update. In this report, we are happy to say that our partnership with EAA in producing our AirVenture Innovation Preview programming at AirVenture 2016 couldn't have gone better. Working closely with EAA, we knew we could expand the outstanding program offered at AirVenture 2015, but we even surprised ourselves with how well things went. The AIP is a massive news teaser, an invitation to build serious buzz, and it's Promote all amazing innovations that makes Oshkosh one of the most outstanding examples of ingenuity and aero entrepreneurialism. Over 40 innovative companies participated in the program requiring us to expand the two-part series from last year to a three-part series this year. This year, the innovators were ready for us. We have logged tens of thousands of views on the AIP's various locations on the web, and that's only part of the total tally. The AIP will remain up on our website and also be available through EAA's website, YouTube, and more. This gives those interested in the innovations that took place at AirVenture 2016 a continuing opportunity to see and review what caused all the excitement. We at ANN thank all of those who work with us to produce this outstanding programming. After these messages, make your choice, certified versus experimental. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The aviation universe is full of industry news, and we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Lee Blotum flying for 2016 has offered the challenge of which is best, certified or experimental aircraft. This is the last year that this outstanding recreational aviation flying will be held. We are all going to miss it. UAVs will soon begin monitoring power lines in India. This will occur under an agreement between the California-based Sharper Shape, which is a provider of automated drone-based asset inspections, and the Indian power transmission company Sterilite Power. An Ontario, Canada-based ambulance provider reports two aircraft were struck by lasers this past weekend. One of the aircraft was targeted in the greater Toronto area and the other in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Canadian laws allow imposing fines and jail time in cases like these. The U.S. Patent Office has issued a second patent to Trough Technology for its space elevator technology. It's a spiral elevator mechanism that allows travel up and down a ground-mounted space tower that could reach nine miles into the sky. Helicopter transport operator Era Group has launched a UAS solution service offering and an exclusive agreement with Total Safety. The UAS would be used for such things as inspections, surveys, mapping, imagery, and other things that could be effectively inspected. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The book of missing persons from the Vietnam War remains open, but now at least one more page has been turned. Marine Corps First Lieutenant Stanley Johnson, missing from the Vietnam War, has now been accounted for. On December 3rd, 1965, Johnson was the co-pilot of an old 34D helicopter assigned to Marine Medium Helicopter Squadron 364, Marine Aircraft Group 36, 1st Marine Aircraft Wing. Johnson's aircraft, with three other Americans and nine Vietnamese soldiers on board, was hit by enemy fire. Everyone on board the aircraft was lost in the crash. 
Between 1993 and 2008, joint U.S. Socialist Republic of Vietnam teams traveled to the area and conducted investigations, which resulted in multiple evacuations at the incident crash site and possible burial locations. Lab analysis, in conjunction with the totality of circumstantial evidence available, established Johnson's remains were included. Interment services are pending. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.